there's so much land that's being severely underutilized. And so I actually just heard of this legit um, project that I'm going to go see in Tampa. There's a church over there that started this thing. They're calling it Operation Eden. They took nice. five acres and they did food forests. They did these massive greenhouses. They even did a processing plant so they can make like jelly, jam, oh, salsa, great. like soup to nuts. We're doing all the production. That stuff right? inspires me so hard. Yeah. They just put Operation Eden and it just happened. Totally. Cool. Yeah. Within the last Shout year. Out. Yeah. Yeah. It's called the river, the river at Tampa Bay. Okay. And they really believe that what they've built there is a model. That's and they cool. want to see that happen in every county in Florida. Amazing. Right? I, I honestly say, take it a step further, every like couple blocks. Yes. You know? Yes. Like literally Jupiter Farms could have 10 of those. Oh, we could be pumping. Ten. Like <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. You know, a true processing facility. Yes. You know, it's not just, oh, you stick a tree in the ground and you peace out. Where are my mangoes? It's a total, it's, you know, it's connectedness. Totally. Totally. Yeah. And then even for your people who say, you know, I'm super, I'm super busy. I can't do this, whatever. Uh -huh. Where are you buying your food? That's it. Right? If you have a small, that's the thing. Cause it's like, oh, I have an apartment I can't grow. Sure. Who are you supporting? Totally. Respect. Totally. That's, that's so true, Jen. Farmer's markets. I recently mm. found a local dairy that I'm like so stoked about. It's called Sutton Milk out in Okeechobee. Cool. Milk, dairy. It's like if we want to have local local cattle ranchers, local dairy, we have to support we them. We have to support we them. We have to support them. Yeah, I totally agree. And especially like back to your point, I wanted to mention this earlier yeah. with the grocery stores, everything getting higher. You know, even though things are decreasing like our grocery store bill, you know? Yeah. All of the real foods, have you noticed how all the real foods are going up in price? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, and everything, you know, Ritz crackers might be going down, but you know, whatever. But that's that's the truth, right? Well, and the quality is so different. I um, posted a picture to my Instagram. I cracked an egg into my frying pan that was from my chickens, and I cracked an egg into a frying pan that was from Publix. And the difference in color in the yolk is unbelievable. My chicken's yolk is this like bright, vibrant orange. Literally, when I go to make egg salad, I don't need as much mayo because the oil content in the yolk is mm. so high. I don't need as much, right? Whereas the egg from the store, like comparatively, was gross. Mm -hmm. It was like this light yellow color. I was thinking like, so was this egg laid by a chicken in a factory farm like a thousand miles away that from birth to death never saw the sun never, saw the never sun. ate a blade of grass what is this why are we doing this eggs is one of those most simple to produce it makes so much sense like we could save millions of tons of kitchen scraps from going to landfills mm, totally for chickens right we could Local get compost chickens. from the garden like it would change the game totally if had that's so true totally literally if one in three americans i think this is joel salatin if yeah one in i three, read that tell me if one in three americans got chickens we would no longer have an egg industry in this country it would if be one in three americans totally unnecessary and i think it would be honestly that's it one in 10 might do it. They're totally. so productive. Totally. And we would send, we would save so much from going into the landfills. Yeah. Shout out to Joel Salatin because he changed my life too. Like totally. folks, this ain't normal. is such a sick book. He talked about that. He was like, man, we could change the world we can. if we like took this more seriously. Yes. Yeah. He's, yes. A, he's a, he's iconic. Yes. As Jean Martin. Says. And again, it's so good for kids, right? Like every morning, my eight year old, he, so you've got your early birds and your night owls, right? And so yes. I've got a six-year-old who's just like me. He's totally a night owl. My oldest is just like my husband. He's like up at six. So I was like, hey, so you're the first one up and the animals are up and they're hungry. So he's out there feeding the birds, feeding the pigs. Like they're involved in taking care of the animals and cultivating the ground. Like they're just having a life that's that's beautiful and they feel mm. so much more connected, right? And I think there's so much value in that mm. hands-on learning, that kind of understanding where things come from and why and how, and beautiful. you can't learn it in a book. No, <laughs> 
creation. Yeah. I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, and that's, that's life force energy, that egg, it's vitality. Like you could see it in it. Yep. Like it's, it's, it's. We've hatched our own eggs. They've gone through that process of hatching quail, hatching chickens. So what, how do the, uh, so how do the animals have a part in this whole system? Does it affect the kids too in their life and everything? It's huge. Um, well, I mean, honestly, I just think my kids are healthier right? They're healthier because they're getting this like nutrient rich veggies and eggs. And we just, again, we don't know the antibiotics. Like we don't know what they've been doing to this stuff. And I just, anyway, obviously like I feel like public trust in institutions is not real high right now. Um, Yeah. But no, that was a relatively new phenomenon too, World War II, right? That that same time frame, forties, you know? Totally. So yeah, it's just like losing sight of what is going on, you know, in a lot of ways. Like, but but the but you know I went to this really cool facility okay. to just on a on a side note that on the other coast before the uh, storm that knocked them out yeah Pine Island okay it was this amazing community they grew all their mangoes and they had a pr- processing facility just like that yes and it was super inspiring and the guy who was t- taking me around just like welcome like whatever you want he was giving me goat milk and all these things grains they grew. Mate, they grew all this cool stuff. Amazing. Yeah, and just living large, you know, and just giving and just grateful. Yes. For yes. for this day, but I asked them why, like, what do you use those animals for? What are those sheep for? They're like, man, they're really just to lift our spirits. Mm. I'm like, wow, that was so deep. 